Welcome to the EZU course about creating quote proposals and SOI templates. In this course, you will learn how to set up and generate a commercial quote proposal and summary of insurance template within the EZLINKS management system. Please keep in mind, the first portion of this video is intended for management system admins. So, let's get started. We'll begin by reviewing how management system admins can set up settings for quote proposals and SOI templates. To navigate there, hover over the settings icon and click on proposal slash SOI templates. Here, you will be greeted by a sleek and intuitive interface. The default selection will be the cover page in the quote proposal document. On the left, you'll find a template dropdown, which allows you to switch between the quote proposal and SOI templates. Under that, you'll see the list of pages included in the document. On the right side of the screen, you will find the preview draft button where you can instantly visualize the appearance of the cover page. To further assist you, an information bar will be prominently displayed, offering valuable details about the page. This includes the page name, page type, publication date and time, and a published indicator. Furthermore, you'll have the following convenient options at your fingertips, archived versions, create draft, and edit. The archived versions button allows you to easily access previous versions of the page. The Create Draft button enables agents to create a new draft, making it effortless to experiment with different variations and refine the page to perfection. The Edit button allows you to seamlessly edit the page, ensuring the content remains up to date with the agency's branding strategy. Please note, editing for the LOB details page is intentionally disabled in order to maintain accuracy and relevance. Now, we'll go over how to create and edit a page draft. When you select the Create Draft option, you will gain access to a copy of the published version, allowing you to make changes to the Word page. You have the flexibility to modify various aspects, except for the data points that are automatically filled from the application. During this mode, you will notice that the information bar indicates your progress. The available options tailored to this stage are Save Draft, Publish, and Cancel. The Save Draft option enables you to save your changes as a draft, preserving your progress until you are ready to publish. Once you're satisfied with your draft and ready to make it public, clicking Publish will replace the current published version with the changes you have made. If you decide not to save your changes, clicking Cancel will take you back to the preview mode without retaining any modifications. Please keep in mind that once a draft is published, the draft itself will no longer be available. This helps maintain a clean and efficient workflow. Depending on whether a draft exists for the selected page, you will see either the Create Draft or Preview Draft option in the information bar. When you select Preview Draft, you'll have a preview of the draft version and the information bar will indicate that it's a draft. From there, you have two options, Preview Published or Edit. If you choose Preview Published, you'll return to the previous screen without making any changes. Clicking Edit will allow you to modify various aspects of the Word page, except for the data points that are auto-filled from the application. During the editing process, the information bar will present the following options, Save, Publish, and Cancel. The Save option overwrites the changes made on the current draft, preserving your modifications. The Publish option replaces the current published version with the changes you made in the draft. If you decide not to save your changes, selecting Cancel will take you back to the preview mode without retaining any modifications. Next, let's discuss how to edit the custom pages. The quote proposal and summary of insurance documents will come preloaded with five fixed custom pages. These pages are designed to accommodate any additional information you would like to include, offering you flexibility and personalization. The editing flow for these custom pages remains the same as the normal published version. The only distinction is the presence of a toggle switch on the information bar. By default, this toggle switch will be in the inactive status for all custom pages. To utilize the custom pages in the quote proposal and summary of insurance generated in EasyLinks, you simply need to activate the toggle switch to make them active. Please note that the toggle switch will not be available for the default pages ensuring their presence is maintained without the ability to remove them. To provide a clear indication of the status of each custom page, an indicator will be displayed on the left panel. This indicator will also include a tooltip showing the status of the custom page. 
Now, let's discuss how to edit a published version. Once you select the edit option, you'll gain full control over the page's content within the Word document. You can make any desired changes to tailor the page to your agency's unique needs. Please note that the data points, which are automatically populated from the application, cannot be removed. This ensures accuracy and consistency. To provide a seamless editing experience, the information bar will indicate that you are in editing mode. During this time, the available options will be adjusted to suit your editing workflow. When you're ready to finalize your edits and make them visible to others, clicking Publish will save the changes on the published page. This action will update the content and take you back to the preview mode. The Save as Draft and Cancel options work the same as before. The Restore to System default option allows you to revert to the default version of the page, undoing any modifications made. Please keep in mind, you will only see the Restore to System default option by clicking on Edit within an already published page. Next, we'll review how to view old versions of a page. The Archived Versions option on the information bar provides you with easy access to view all past and current versions of the selected page. Upon selecting this option, you will be directed to a page displaying all the old versions, allowing you to preview them. While previewing an old version, you will have the following options, Restore, Download, and Close. By choosing Restore, you can set that particular version as the current version, effectively replacing the existing published content with the restored version. Selecting Download will enable you to download a Word file of the selected page, allowing for offline access and reference. Choosing Close will exit the preview of the old version and return you to the History page, where you can access other versions. On the History page, you will only have the option to download the current version, as you can already preview it outside of the History page. Now that the quote proposal and SOI templates are set up, let's walk through how your agents can send a commercial quote proposal and summary of insurance to their customer. To send a quote proposal, you'll need to navigate to the Customer's Documents tab. Once there, click on Add and select Quote Proposal. This will open your quote proposal in a new window. You'll need to enter a document name in the field. Next, you'll select a line of business and the respective policy or application this proposal is for from the drop-down menus. Please note, once you select the policy or application, the rating state will be locked in based on the information contained in the policy or application. Additionally, you cannot create a quote proposal if you don't have an applicable policy or application. If you'd like to add additional lines of business, you can click the Add Line of Business button. You can also click Remove to delete any lines of business that may have been entered incorrectly. Once you're ready, click Generate Quote Proposal. The quote proposal will open in an editor in a new window. You can make any changes you'd like in the editor. When you're done, make sure to click the File tab and Save before closing. You'll see the document has been added to your Customer's Documents tab. If you'd like to add any additional documents to the proposal before sending it out, you can click Actions, then Open Editor next to the proposal. In the editor you can add forms by clicking Actions, then add more documents and selecting the document you would like to add. Next, click Preview. You'll see the document you've added in the pane on the left side. If you'd like to add your signature you can click Actions, then add signature to apply it automatically to the document. When you're done, make sure to click Save before closing the updated document. Now that the quote proposal is ready, you can click Actions to download it, email it to your customer, or share it to their client center. To generate a summary of insurance, you'll follow the same steps as the quote proposal but you'll click on Summary of Insurance under the Add menu on the Documents tab. That's all for this EZU course on creating quote proposals and SOI templates. You should now have the knowledge to set up and generate a commercial quote proposal and summary of insurance template in EZ Links. Thanks for watching.